Welcome back to StarCraft Trivia with Necro. The category is History of Competitive StarCraft. There has been a fair share of upsets in GSL, but it's on a totally other level when it's by a foreigner. A 16-year-old little Italian foreigner. This number 2 ranked WCS Korean player at the time was knocked out of Code S in the round of 32 by Rainer. What player was this? Is it A. Classic, B. Innovation, C. Su, or D. Stats? The answer is A, Classic. After losing 0-2 to Classic in the first round of the group, Raynor turns it around in the decider match when he pulls out an incredibly clutch victory after having been in a very difficult position for the entire game. These transfusions, absolutely crazy. Every unit is so important yeah. right now. This one Corruptor is the only thing that's really hitting the uh, Tempest ever, and it just keeps getting transfused. Oh, he's going to try to go for the Queens. I love weird. that he's The Queens can't the escape as easily. Oh my god, oh my god. Where's that Prism? Yeah, where is that Prism, actually? I think he sent it out. Oh my god, the Storm was really good there. That was a sick Storm. That he was needs beautiful. to go now. He doesn't have any other chance. He has to go now, and that's it! That is going to be it! Classic's going to be eliminated! GG! Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Classic is eliminated in the round of 32. And Rainer, the genius from Italy, advances his first time in GSL Code S to the round of 16. I can't believe it. Oh my god. He had a bumpy god. start early on, went to the losers match, defeated Ryung, and just took out Classic there in game oh. two. One of the Forget best games I have ever casted. That was insane. Home Story Cup is definitely a crowd favorite when it comes to major tournaments. Parting won Home Story Cup 10 versus which player in an absolutely amazing 4 3 grand finals? Is it A. Flash, B. Jadong, C. Snoot, or D. Stefano? The answer is A, Flash. Now, Parting has never won a Home Story Cup before. In fact, he hadn't won any major tournaments in over a year at that point, but Home Story Cup 10 was something else completely. It was at that time that he perfected his Soul Train build, which I might make a trivia about it in another video actually. His perfection of the build gave him a 3-0 victory over Jadong and Losira, earning him a spot in the Grand Finals versus Flash. And just a quick note that Snoot was a Home Story Cup monster. He was the only foreigner in that round of eight. And Snoot was in the top four of five Home Story Cups. And these tournaments were major tournaments stacked with Koreans and some of the best too. But anyway, this final series between Parting and Flash was incredible. Nay, unforgettable. Yes. Going for the win, he's pushing forward with the Widow Mine and no detection. The economy of Parting is hurting. He does not have a critical mass of Blink Stalkers. The uh -oh. pylon's been found. Yeah, but Flash is falling behind he's the supply. Yeah, look how red yeah. he is. Oh my god, Parting is so Parting's ridiculous. Doing this. I cannot stalkers. believe it. The what? medevacs have no energy. Oh, what a close fight. It's going to be believe. really close. <laughs> Back at the natural, does Flash have any oh. army at home? No, not really. Oh, he's he's got to go home. He's he, got to go in his main. Oh, if he loses these he two can't this, it might just be what it. What is happening? I cannot believe that parting. The blink stalkers. Oh, oh. Micro, the marauder. The stalker. Get, get, back, to the main. Tide, get back to the main. He's wow. got to go in the main. Parting is so an, sick. Oh, my God. I cannot believe that this is happening right now. The I, Oracle joins in on the fight. If he gets on top of the production, <laughs> there's nothing to stop the Blink Stalkers from ending this game. He's turned it around again with Blink Stalkers. Oh. He's called out. Holy shit. That oh, is I cannot believe that. I don't think Parting can Holy believe that crap. either. What a ridiculous series.
Rarely have I seen oh game my seven God. of a tournament turning around like that. I mean, I was with you, Jeff, obviously. Bro, <laughs> I'm not going to leave you hanging here. Wrong. Holy yeah. cow! We've seen our fair share of insane comebacks in games. Some games look unwinnable, but did you know that there's no actual word for unwinnable in the French dictionary? Which French player famously beat Hydra on the map Coda after being knocked down to one base against a three base Zerg? Is it A, DNS, B, Lilbo, C, Marine Lord, or D, Petit Drogo? The answer is B, Lilbo. This comeback was not only insane, but on top of that, he was down 0-2 in the best of five. Somehow, he won game three and ended up reverse sweeping Hydra in the series in the round of eight and ended up going all the way and winning WCS 2015 season three. Photon Overcharge will go down, but this Nexus is running very low on HP already. Zerglings will get cleaned up, but these Roaches should be able to get the final hits off this Nexus, and it's gonna go down as well. Well, Nate. There's not much left to say, Kev. Well, he needs force fields straight out of heaven. He needs the absolute best force fields ever. Yeah, this is Nate. Drones are coming off the natural. Hydra's gonna try to shut down this push that Lilbo has. He moves back down the ramp, grabs a few of the roaches, and one of these queens should die as well. There's not much here to fight for Hydra. But that economy is slowly but surely paying off. He needs to keep landing those forces. Wow. Moving up towards the natural once again. He sees those units, comes up, grabs the ones coming from the third. The drones are coming once again for Hydra. That Protoss army looks so scary right now, Nate. There is no road speed. There is zergling speed, but there is no static defenses. Hydra is going to have to be so careful about how he wants to engage his army. He's just not losing any units ever since this push started. Lilba has barely lost anything. He can drop a force field on the ramp now. He's going to get three more roaches. Lilba on one base against the three base Zerg. He's actually making this work. He's actually making it happen, Roddy. Completely locking out Hydra in this position. There's the time warp holding them in place. Wow. GG! Lilbo keeps his dreams alive here at the World Champion.